his attacker. And the countdown begins two years until Rio as the games return to seven, giving fans more ways to watch. Checking your finance now and the ASX 200 dropped 22 points as the Reserve Bank left the official interest rate on hold. Shares in toll road operator Transurban fell despite a 45% jump in profits, thanks in part to Sydney drivers using the upgraded M2. And one Aussie dollar is buying just over 93 US cents. Now, while we worry about our superannuation, here are some actresses who could retire now. Sandra Bullock has been named by Forbes magazine as the highest paid woman in Hollywood, earning $55 million over the past 12 months. The Hunger Games star Jennifer Lawrence came in second with $36 million. Romance on screen has paid off for Jennifer Aniston, a close third. Gwyneth Paltrow came in fourth and Angelina Jolie and Cameron Diaz tied for fifth, earning just under $20 million. Not bad. Now here's Sarah with Sydney's weather. Thank you, Mark. Well, our sunny spell rolls on with another fine day in Sydney today. After a low of 8 degrees, the city reached 21. That's 3 degrees up on normal. Across Sydney, it was chilly this morning with minimums falling well into the single figures. We had sunny weather this afternoon, though, with light southerly winds and maximums creeping into the high teens near the coast, 20 or 21 degrees through the western suburbs. From the satellites, some isolated storms are occurring over southwestern Queensland, but otherwise much of the country is looking fairly clear. Tomorrow another front will push into Tasmania and the far southern parts of Victoria bringing some gusty winds and a few showers but a large high over South Australia and New South Wales should bring fine weather to much of the nation. It will be frosty in Canberra overnight, minus six degrees. Expect some late showers in Melbourne and Hobart tomorrow. A warm and sunny day for Perth and just a brief shower in Brisbane 22. On our waters expect northwesterly winds at first swinging to the southwest at 15 to 20 knots late in the evening. Tonight will be fine in Sydney with an overnight low of 7 degrees and we're in for more sunny skies tomorrow, a top of 20. Tonight is going to be a little colder than last night and that will mean some areas of fog and frost in the western suburbs tomorrow morning before light to moderate northwesterly winds generate warmer weather during the day. 20 degrees in most suburbs, 19 for Bondi, 21 in Penrith. Looking further ahead, there is just the chance of a late shower in the city on Thursday before clearing up on Friday morning. Saturday will be fine to 21 and just the chance of a brief shower redeveloping on Sunday. In our west, sunny and 19 on Thursday. Morning fog and early showers on Friday. It's looking sunny for Saturday, 22 degrees and fine on Sunday, 21. Cooling down next week, Mark. OK, Sarah, thank you. Now, anyone who's tried to surf knows it's not easy, not even if you're confident in the water, like this seal, which dropped in on two mates off England's coast. The pup was polite, waiting its turn to climb onto the board to catch some waves. But the slippery seal struggled to stay steady, sliding off after just a few seconds as the surf continued to roll in. Eventually, after an hour, the seal gave up, sticking to what it does best and swimming away. That is 7 News for this Tuesday. I'm Mark Ferguson. I hope you have a great night. The following program is classified PG. It contains adult themes. Channel 7 recommends parental guidance for young viewers.